Good morning. Welcome to our yoga practice. Oh, Molly, you gotta go around the. Boop, boop, boop. You gotta go around that way, loves. Thank you. All right, so we are getting set up, adjusting our space. Molly is joining us for a bit this morning. Yeah, good morning. Double check something. A bit better. No. Miss Goose, sweet pea. Thank you. All right, so we are just coming onto our mat, getting settled in our space, and preparing for class however you'd like, maybe in quiet. Allowing yourself to be present, maybe with gentle movement. Maybe you want a water nearby or a block. We've got a little bit of time, a few minutes. Good girl. Molly is going to choose some quiet time, it looks like. I'm going to grab my watch. There we are. So it's still probably another minute before we get going. And we are going to begin standing today if you wanted to head that way. Good girl. Coming on to our mat. Preparing for the practice, preparing for our day, as we settle in, and starting to let, let go of the worries of the day, the to-do list, taking the next roughly 30 minutes for yourself here on the mat. We're getting a little closer to time. So if you haven't already, let's sit somewhere near the front third of our mat and create a nice base for ourselves. The feet can be hip width distance. They could go a little wider to give yourself something solid this morning. And you can kind of shift the weight around until you feel settled on all four corners of each foot. The toes are touching down. The heels are rooted. Nice connection there. We've built a foundation. We'll start to draw the energy and the awareness up. Check in with the ankles, calves, maybe a little softness in the knees this morning. See how the thighs are doing, the hips, the glutes, the low back, belly, the heart. Fingers and wrists, forearms, biceps and shoulders, the neck, the jaw, the face, all the way to the crown of the head. Be where you're at this morning, no judgment, just more aware that you can honor your body as we move through the practice. We'll deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Breathe in and out through the nose as best you can. Try to match the length of the inhale to the length of the exhale. And see if you can maintain that balanced breath as we move through the practice. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Nice big inhale as we reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. Big inhale, scoop the air around you. We'll meet with hands stretched overhead. Maybe you interlace the fingers here. And we'll gently tick tock side to side. Little metronome. Move at your own pace. Maybe deepen that stretch by pressing the hips side to side as well. Aware of that connection through the hips and the ribs, up into the shoulders. We'll slow it down, come back to center, and release the hands. Give the shoulders a little wiggle. You can rotate them forward and then backward. And then we'll settle the arms. Let them be loose. And we'll start to swing side to side. So the arms are just loose here. They're going to knock on the body. Keep the hips, the knees at ease. And you could even lift up a heel here as you twist. You could widen your stance a bit. All optional. Finding what feels right for you today. We'll slow it down. Find that center again, your nice strong Tadasana. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale all the way down to forward fold. Let the head and the hands hang. Maybe you have a little bend at the knees. We'll gently roll up, back to standing, take a breath, inhale the arms up, exhale to forward fold, take a breath, Let the exhale help you release a little more. Gravity lengthening the spine here. Soften the knees and roll up. Back to our standing posture. We'll take the fist or the flat palms to the low back. Start to draw the shoulder blades a little closer together. Elbows as well. Take a breath here. Nice open heart. If you'd like, you could take a standing back then as you arch back, draw the gaze up. Try to keep the heart lifted here. We're still warming up. We'll rise up, release the arms, again give the shoulders a small wiggle, and then find stillness. Big inhale as the arms rise. Exhale to forward fold. Take a breath. On an inhale, we'll come to half lift that seven shape, hands to shins or thighs. Nice flat back, shoulders draw away from the ears. And exhale as you release. We'll plant the hands, slide just the right toes back. Coming into a runner's lunge. We've got a generous bend in the left knee. That knee is stacked over the ankle or slightly behind it. Hips are sitting low. 
Notice how the right calf is feeling. Scan all the way up through that leg. And then we'll bring that knee to the ground, coming into our low lunge. You can uncurl the toes if you like. And we'll draw the gaze forward. Keep the hips sitting low. Notice if that bone stack for the left knee has shifted. If it has, you can just move that foot, do a little heel toe action. Big stretch through the right hip. And we'll begin to shift the hip backward as we rotate on the left heel, coming into a hamstring stretch. The left leg does not have to be straight. There could be a little bend at the knee. Mindful of how you are feeling today. If at any point you feel anything pinpointed, something acute pain, gently back out. And always come into the shape again or take a different shape that is serving you better. We'll start to walk the hands forward as we plant the left sole back down. Bring the left hand inside of that foot as you heel toe it over to the edge of the mat. We're going to set the left foot at about a 45 degree angle here in our lizard lunge. A deeper hip stretch. The hands are supporting us. Breath is steady. We'll gently heel toe that foot back to its start. Frame the foot with the hands. Curl the right toes and lift off of that knee. With both hands connected to the mat, we'll step the left foot back, high plank. You can lower to the knees here if you like. Strong arms. We'll shift the hips up and back. Our first down dog of the class. Fingers are spread, giving us a strong base. Trying to find that upside down B shape. On an inhale, we'll look toward the hands. And on the exhale, bring the feet to meet them. Find yourself in a forward fold. We'll inhale up to half lift. Core is engaged. Draw the navel in toward the spine. Exhale as you release. Plant the hands. The left toes slide back. Take your time here as you find that runner's lunge. That bone stack for the right knee. The hips settling. Left leg is strong and active here. Gaze is at the mat. We'll lower the left knee down. You can uncurl the toes if you choose. Find your low lunge. Check that bone stack. We want to protect our joint. Draw awareness to the hip as you bring the gaze forward each side of the body will feel a little different. Be mindful. And as you hold the shape, notice if the mind begins to wander off of the mat. If it does, gently invite it back. Ask it to be present with you here in this moment. Connected to the breath in the body. We'll shift the hips back as we rotate on the right heel, finding that hamstring stretch. Stay the hips back only as far as your body wants. And again, you can keep a little bend in the right leg. The 
Hands are a nice balance and support on the mat. Move them where you need them. And from heel to hip. Each exhale helping you, helping you soften just a bit more. We'll start to walk the hands forward as we return the right sole to the mat. Bring the right hand inside that. Heel toe the foot to the edge of the mat. Find that 45 degrees. Toes are off the mat. Heels are on the mat. But if your legs are longer, your whole foot may end up off the mat. If they're shorter, you might still have full foot on the mat. A deeper hip stretch here. Long spine. Find a little ease. And then heel toe the foot back to its starting place. Frame that foot with both hands. Curl the left toes. Lift off of that knee. Give yourself the foundation to step the right foot back and find yourself in high plank. Again, you can lower to the knees here if that's serving you better today. Take a breath. Shift the hips up and back. Our down dog. Trying to find a flat back that may mean a generous bend with the knees. One more breath here. Take a little wave through the body as we lift the heels, shift the hips back to that high plank. Elbows tight to the body as we lower down, come to the belly, uncurl the toes. Chin is in the mat. Hands are under the shoulders to begin. We'll inhale up and plant the elbows underneath the shoulders. Forearms parallel to one another as we draw the gaze up. Our sphinx pose. Spread the fingers, palms are in the mat. Press into the elbows so that we're not collapsing into the shoulders. Hips are settled. The tops of the feet are in the mat. Gazing forward. We'll press the palms into the mat as we lift off the elbows, take them wide, lower down, favorite cheek finds the mat. And then rotate sides, opposite cheek goes down, one breath. Chin goes back to the mat, hands under shoulders, we'll press back hips to heels. Child's pose. You can have toes together, knees together, or you could take the knees nice and wide here. Arms are stretched overhead. A little activation through the shoulders. Start to walk the hands in as you lift up. Rotate onto a favorite hip. And swing the legs around. We're sitting somewhere in the middle of the mat. Legs in front of us, about hip width distance apart. We sit up nice and tall. Inhale the arms up. Exhale as you forward fold. Hands can reach to the feet, the ankles, the shins, the mat. Whatever is working for you today. Try to shine the heart here. 
Nice reminder to keep that length in the spine to really fold at the hips. You can keep a little micro bend at the knees. We'll inhale up, draw the right knee in. Sit up tall as you bring right hand around behind you, wrap the left arm around that bent knee, coming into our twist. Lengthen the spine, sit nice and tall here. And then maybe you look over that right shoulder. Maybe just the eyes do it. And then on an exhale, we'll unwind. Little counter stretch to the opposite side. Come back to center. Extend the right leg long as you draw the left foot in. Again, sit tall. Left hand comes around behind you. That nice kickstand. Right arm wraps the bent leg. The gaze begins to the side. And then we look a little farther behind us, even if it's just imagining it in our minds. Maybe it's just the eyes moving. Not forcing it here. Keep a little softness through the body. And on an exhale, we'll unwind, a little counter stretch. Back to central. We'll draw in the right foot. Piece fingers behind the knees, strong back as we lean back to about 45 and head to our boat. We'll come on to our toes and then lift the feet off the ground. A little added challenge this morning here with Molly. Maybe you straighten the legs, maybe you reach the arms out. Strong core, strong back. You can tap your toes down anytime you need. One more breath here. And release the feet. We'll bring the hands to the mat. A little windshield wiper of the legs, taking them side to side. A little rotation through the hips. Nice. Coming back to our neutral, we'll have both feet planted on the mat, toes together, heels together, let the knees fall away from one another. As we sit up nice and tall, our bound angle. And you could stay right here. Gravity can help draw the knees down. If you'd like to deepen the stretch for your hips, we'll sit up tall. Again, lead with the heart. As you fold forward, maybe the elbows gently press on the legs. Maybe you give the feet a little massage here. Check in with the hips, the inner thighs. On an inhale, we'll lift up. We'll help the knees together. And then gently rotate all the way down, settling the spine long on the mat. We'll lift the feet up. Knees are at that 90. Right hand to left knee. Gently guide them to the side. We're rotating. Shift the hips if you need to stack left over right. Got a nice twist through the torso here. Trying to open the heart to the sky as best we can. Maybe that left arm reaches out to a T. The heels can be tucked in as close to the body or as far out as you like. The legs could even be straight out if that's serving you. Right hand can rest on the legs. 
it can go out to that T as well. Lots of variations here. Find a little softness in the hips, a little ease in the legs. Feel that nice rotation through the ribs and the spine. The right arm is reaching out, bring it back. We'll tuck it under the right leg and gently help them back up. Shift the hips as needed as you reset at your neutral on the mat. Long spine, feet start down, and then we lift them up. Find that 90. Left hand to right knee. Guide the legs across. Shift the hips how you need. Stack right over left. Find that rotation as you reach the right arm out. Again, notice the subtle differences between the two sides. Make any little mods you need. Breath remains steady. Notice how the inhales expand in the ribs, helping you create a little more space. And how the exhales also help us create space by allowing us to soften a little. Find the ease and the pose. Check in with the shoulders. Right shoulders journeying toward the mat, though it may not touch it. One more breath here. We'll take the left hand under the left knee. Gently help them back up. As you reset, spine long, we'll draw the right knee in, a little modified half wind relieving pose, head and shoulders remain resting on the mat, and we'll draw little circles with the right ankle. You can get the toes engaged here as well, giving them a wiggle. In reverse direction, if you haven't already. Find stillness with the right foot. Give that knee a little squeeze. Extend that leg up. Sole of the foot shines toward the sky. Point the toes. Soften the foot and gently bring it back to the mat. Right foot rests on the mat as we draw the left knee in. That modified half wind relieving pose. Try not to struggle pulling that knee in. It doesn't have to be super close to the body. It could be a waves a little bit. That's all right. Then we'll start drawing those circles with the left ankle and foot. They can be as big or as little as you like. And again, wiggle the toes, get the whole foot engaged here. In reverse direction, if you haven't already. We're really free forming this, listening to our bodies, checking in with the joints. Find stillness with the left foot as you give the left knee a little squeeze and send that leg high. Sole of the foot shines up. Low back stays connected to the mat. 
Point the toes. Find a little ease in that foot. Left foot returns to the mat. We'll draw both knees into the chest, our full body hug. You can just lay here, centered on the mat, or you could rock a little side to side if that's serving you today. You are rocking, we'll slow it down. Coming back to center, give both knees a little squeeze, spin the heels high, little legs up the wall, a nice simple inversion in our practice. We'll be here for a few rounds of breath, maybe hands come to belly, maybe they rest on the thighs for a little external support, you could have them long, that side body. Nice moment to check in with the mind and the body. See if you're staying present. And if you're not, to just invite the mind back. Refocus and recenter. Lift the right hand up and then the left. Draw the knees down toward the shoulders as you hold on to the outer blade or the inner arch of each foot. Our happy baby, deep hip opener. Try not to roll up here too much. Sometimes the low back wants to roll. Sometimes the head and the shoulders want to lift. See if you can keep the spine long. And on an exhale, release, spin the legs back up, and then gently bring the feet to the mat. And however you'd like to help yourself up to a nice seated posture. We will round out our practice together, bringing hands together at heart center to seal it in. I encourage you to take kind thoughts, kind words, and those kind intentions with you from now until we meet again. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us for our yoga practice this morning. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead, and I look forward to seeing you back on the mat next Tuesday morning. Bye, y'all. Good job, Molly.